My mind is like a dark alley. I never want to adventure in there alone. My name is Chuck Hale, and I am by nature a planner. I just love to plan. I don't plan the outcome, but I do love to plan. So in September of 2006, when I received a phone call from my friend Bob, and he wanted to RV all the way to Alaska, that just put me in heaven. So this is a story about planning a trip to Alaska and to what extremes I will go to to make a plan. Now Dorothy and I and our grandson drove to Alaska in 1999 and that is one long drive. 9,300 miles approximately from Laguna Woods to Fairbanks, Alaska and back. But traveling with another couple in two RVs, that sounded like fun. So I started to work on a plan. It all starts with a computer and having the right type of software, Rand McNally Trip Planner. And so I sat down and put into the starting point and the ending point or destination round trip and what cities we would stop at in between. The concept we came up with to remain friends is called the lead dog concept. One day Bob and Joyce and their RV would be the lead dog and the following day Dorothea and I would be the lead dog. This worked out very well and we could remain in contact with each other via our CB radios. Now what you're looking at is the itinerary and then I had to convert the itinerary into an Excel file. Now the Excel file is about nine or ten pages long. I have it in a binder. I had to make spaces between each stop so we could make notes and then I made a summary file. Now the summary file shows the mileage and the dates that were supposed to be at a specific spot on a specific time and the details files show the turn by turn and the distance between each campsite. Next I placed this into a folder called the travel plans and inside of that where I have all my travel plans from previous trips I have an Alaska plan and in the Alaska plan file I have detail plans like what to take, what needs to be done, safety checks on the RVs, fishing gear, computers, cameras, golf clubs, panning for gold equipment. We even have a book we uh, ordered called the Alaska Milepost and it shows us mile by mile the interesting things to see along the highway. Now to complete my obsession and my planning, I take a digital camera and take pictures of some of the maps that we will be using. That is Dawson Creek and the beginning of the Alaska Highway and the distance from Dawson Creek to Whitehorse in the Yukon Territory. And I put those photos also in a binder so we're just about completely ready to go. We are totally prepared for the trip. Now on the day of departure is the day that my plan starts to come apart at the seams. I have failed to plan for the human element. I hand the binder to my wife who has spent all of about 15 seconds looking at the Excel file and the maps and throws the whole binder into the back seat and tells me drive north. Weeks of planning, hundreds of man hours spent all to end up in the back seat. The only thing that is kind of definite and it is only kind of definite that we will meet Bob and Joyce at Lake Louise on the 25th of June. And other than that, my plans will just stay in the back seat. But I had fun doing it, and life is just too short to live by a plan. The moral of this story is let go, let God.